This is Chris Knox here again. And one question that I've gotten from some guys is about using like the VSTs and just creating or sequencing in inside of Studio One. And so this is just gonna be a quick video to show um, how one can go about doing that. Um, so first off, I have an empty session. Um, what I'm gonna do is look here. Um, first, I would set the tempo, but it's at 120, which is the default. Um, clicking this blue icon here, turns the metronome off and on. So if I just hit the space bar, I can hear that, where that feels like, and I'm just gonna actually leave it there for the sake of this. Just gonna kinda do like a pop-esque type thing. Um, so first I'll click on the browse, and this way I can see um, where it opened up I'm on the instruments panel, and I'm, I have it selected to sort by vendor. So I'm just gonna use all the PreSonus stuff. Um, you have your three main instruments being the impact, which is gonna be more of like your drum stuff. Um, your mojito is going to be more of like your mono monophonic stuff like bass or um, lead lines and things like that effects and then the presence is more of like your keyboard type stuff so uh, said so, and there's different things in between them but I mean like there's drums in all of them or the drums in the presence uh, specifically um, but uh, for what I'm gonna show or what I just explained is more of what's the the general things I would look in these um, particular instruments for. So first thing I'm going to do is try to do some drum stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and look at, let's see here. Uh, so you just grab it, drag it on, and it's created. So you see here on each of these pads, there's two different um, notes. So B0, C1 is on the left, C sharp one. These notes are if basically how you trigger the pads chromatically. So that's going up on my MIDI controller chromatically, meaning every next note, white note or black note. Versus on the right side, these are diatonically. So this is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So this is all the white notes starting at C, um, C3. All right, so I'm gonna go and find the sound that I want. Then if you double click, it will change it. So I think I'm gonna go with this uh, electronic kit. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna click down here to give my pre-roll on. I'll hit double zero to go back to the beginning. The asterisk on the number pad is going to be uh, to start the record. All right, so just like a little eight bar thing. Uh, close this. Now, the W key to zoom out a little bit. You can see once I select it, this quantize is set to the 16th note. So if I hit the Q key, it will automatically shift everything. Let's kind of listen back. Let's try this again. You 
can see the quantize here set to 16th note so i click it hit the q key double zero to go back to the beginning and let's listen Okay, so for the most part, it was cool. There was a little spot right here with this bass drum. So if I double click it, let's close this out by hitting the X. We can see right here after B5, this bass drum here was a little bit off. So all I gotta do is grab it, drag it over. Problem solved, all right? Next thing I'll do is add, so we're gonna close this edit. Now we're gonna go ahead and add like a bass sound. So let's go ahead and pull from the mojito. So we'll just grab that, pull it on. And then um, let's select a bass sound. So let's double zero to go back to the beginning. Actually, I want to go an octave up. the Q key again. Let's listen. Right here. So we got uh, two notes, so we'll delete that one. in there now let's go ahead and add some some stuff to make it a little fuller so use the presence um, see if we go over here click down let's do um, that like a synth thing let's double click <laughs> Select Q, tighten it up. And let's see, let's add one other, add some other stuff. Let's add another presence. So you can see here, this is presence two, presence one. For this other one, let's just do like a, like a pad type thing. Let me see. like a little melody. Now 
if I press the number key, go in, can select all of them, go click right on beat nine. And you can see here it's on nine. I can do option X, select all of those, actually number pad one, go ahead and select them all and just delete them. Then you can go up here, select, use the forward slash to repeat. wanted to let's say try to make the melody stick out a little more maybe I'll add another presence with a more distinct uh, melody line in it so let's see um, let's see where's the lead Last two, select them, hit the Q to do the quantize, tighten them up, and let's listen. <laughs> See that this note is missing so I can if I hold the option on Mac and take it and grab it and drag it on and just add another note and that's a quick way to you know start to build a track obviously you change things as you go One of the cool things I like about using the impact though for drums is when you look here on the mix, you can see that all the drums are already separated out. So when I solo the drums, you can see I have a kick, snare. Being separated out, you can still go in and adjust the mix as you want, like if you were using separate drum channels, which is really cool. Hopefully this helps. Check out presonas.com for more tips and tricks, or feel free to hit me up at www.chrisknox.net.